Daniel chapter 3. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold. Now, the previous chapter, we had Nebuchadnezzar's dream. And he had this great big image of a man. The head of gold was Babylon and Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom. Now, this image of gold doesn't have to do with the dream. It's not told. But we're, we're going to look at a type of the Antichrist in Daniel 3. I mean, the Christian runs the Revelation, Revelation. And I know how many churches are going through the book of Revelation. There are more prophecies throughout the entire Bible than the book of Revelation. Because Daniel and the book of Revelation run hand in hand. So, he makes this golden, golden image. Isn't it funny how all these things are gold? The golden calf. The golden arches. The gold rush. Whose height was three score sixty cubits, and the breadth thereof six cubits. Now, to give you an idea what that is, that's ninety feet by nine feet. Now, there's no third dimension. You usually, you got length, width, and breadth. So that this image, according to what we have, is a kind of cylinder. <clears throat> or is what we would call a phallic symbol, a penis type. And we have several in the world. Opolis. There's one in Vatican City. There are ten main obelisks. Erected erection penis. Because that's what it's for. In the world. Now let me tell you about another erected penis. Because that's what it is. 555 feet by 55 feet. That's a huge one. That's huger, broader than Nebuchadnezzar's. Which would bring us to 37 cubits. So 370 cubits. 37 cubits, excuse me, by 36.3 cubits. And you say, well, what is that one? You don't recognize that? You don't recognize the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C.? Which stands as far as masonry work. It's the highest in the world. Until the Eiffel Tower of Iron was built. Iron. Particular material found in the Bible. So, it's interesting that Nebuchadnezzar is 6 score 60 and 6, but we don't have a 600 for 666. And yet the Washington Monument is, is 555 feet by 55 feet. We'll come back. He said it up in the plain of Dora, in the province of Babylon. Now Jules Alpert is found there in a place called Babel, B-A-B-I-L, of a place called Dunar, D-U-A-I-R, southeast of Babel. And he said he's found a pedestal there of a colossal statue, not saying it's the one, but 
archaeology. True archaeology does not defend the Bible. The Bible defends archaeology. Up on the mountains of Ararat, there is a ship where it should not be that we did not need to have an ark built in Kentucky. And, you know, who knows? Maybe they'll put their teen colors on there for idolatry. And you pay your money to go. Well, that's not faith. And he says in the plane of Dura, that's not the airplane. But there's something quite particular. that if we got to run all these references. I'm no rush. Some churches got to do the chapter, maybe two chapters in, in, in 30 minutes, okay? And we did the whole book of the Bible. Genesis. Now notice that plane as we go to Genesis. Genesis 11. Verse 1. And notice the words. The whole earth was of one language. No one had to press one for English. That came afterwards. And of one speech. Everybody understood each other. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east. They're going east to west. That they found a plain. No, that, that kind of plain. In the land of Shinar. Do you know where Shinar is? That's Babylon. Quinky dinky. And they said in verse 4, Let's go and build us a city and a tower. You know who the first city builder was? A murderer called Cain. A tower? I mean a rising erection of Man-made, here would be brick and clay, verse 3. So we can make a name for ourselves. You mean calling it the Washington Monument? Make a name? Washington, D.C.? Make a name? Right in front of Abraham Lincoln? Make a name? I thought that was kind of, now notice the wording of that before we go back to Ezekiel. Uh, Daniel. Phew, Ezekiel so long. So Daniel. We haven't done the first verse yet. So six and six for this image. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes. Leaders. Princes are usually under kings. They're governors. We have 50 governors. Governors would be in charge of provinces. And the captains. That would be the army. The judges. Judicial. Treasurers. Here's your financial. Counselors. Advisors. The sheriffs. The law and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedica dedication. The image has been built. Now we're going to have a dedication. We're going to give honor to this image. It's not that that image has been there for, for months, days, years. It's the dedication. And probably not everybody's seen it yet. Of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Set up is interesting words you'll keep finding. Set up. Set up. So. Revelation 13. Ooh. Revelation. That's a good book. 
Revelation 13. Verse 14. Verse 11. Th Revelation 13, 11. And I beheld another beast come up out of the earth. He had two horns like a lamb. Always an imitation of Jesus. And he spake as a dragon, the devil. I mean, dragon is worship over in, in China. It's worship here in Florida. We set up these spacecrafts now called the dragon. And I know a pastor down there, oh, isn't it great? Look at the space, look at the dragon space program, you idiot. You don't you know what the Bible says? You probably think that the blood on the garments of Jesus second advent is his own blood. You're so stupid. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. And causes the earth. Now this is the false prophet. This is Judas. And them which dwell to worship the first beast. There's the Antichrist. There are two beasts. The first one is the Antichrist. The second one is, is Judas. The, the false prophet. Whose deadly wound was healed. Oh look at that. Pentecostals are happy. Woo! Healing! And he does great wonders, so that maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Well, there's coming a fire with this image. Get that. Okay? And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of the, those miracles which he has power to do in the sight of it. So here, here's your miracle worker. Here's your faith healer. Here's your Pentecostal. Here's give me signs. Why? Because the tribulation period is a time of Jacob's trouble. It's for the Jews, not the Gentiles. He's trying to fascinate the Jews. Oh. He's trying to do the imitation of what Jehovah did throughout Egypt and throughout the wilderness and in the land of Israel. For Jews require a sign, 1 Corinthians 1.13, I believe it is. And dwell on the earth, it's for all people. That they should make an image to the beast, which the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life on the image of the beast. Here's an image set up, built by the authority of the false prophet of the Antichrist, and it gets life. That the image of the beast should speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. That's an important thing to when we get to Daniel chapter 3. Which we won't get to tonight. So we're going to take Daniel 3 slowly. The Antichrist, the false prophet, an image, worship, fire, and death. In the land of a plain. Where we wanted to build a tower and there was an image set up. Back to Daniel. I keep on saying Ezekiel. So Nebuchadnezzar becomes a type of Antichrist and false prophet by setting this image up. It just doesn't come to light. Verse 3, then the princes, 1, governors, 2, captains, 3, judges, 4, treasurers, 5, counselors, 6, sheriffs, 7, 7 offices. Have you read how many times the number 7 shows up in, the, in Revelation? Seven, 7 trumpets, 7 vials, 7 seals. 
You got that, right? They gathered together in unity in the ecumenical United Nations unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up and stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. And the newspaper cried aloud. He said, well, which version do you use? I don't say newspaper. How many newspapers are called the Herald? I got distracted. I was going to look. Man, I can give it to you. Google Herald. As far as newspapers, I want what you find. I wonder what the, I'm just, I, I don't know. I, I didn't get a chance to do this study. But I wonder what the first newspaper was called in America. I wonder what, you know, how many Heralds are there? Hark the Herald Angel Sing. It's a announcement. It's a news. They had the, 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 the Johnny on the spot live. Here we are at the image back in Daniel's time. And they were, you see, scholars and the people in the world today make you think everybody back in the Bible times, they were just ignorant, stupid. They didn't know nothing. They got the news around and they didn't have cable TV. They didn't have radio, but the news got around. And I guarantee there was fake news to go with it. There was fake news when the Titanic sunk. The first thing the papers came out in America, there all the people in the Titanic survived. And they're on their way back to uh, on the ships back to New York. That was a lie. There were lies in the Civil War. The newspapers up north were lying about uh, how bad the South was doing. The newspapers down south were lying about how terrible the North was doing. To you, it is commanded. So the media said, it is commanded that you go and get a vaccine in the booster. And the truckers lined up, and we're protesting, and the Christians say we got freedom, and the Republicans say they stole our vote, and we, we are rebelling again. They obeyed during Daniel's time. Yeah, but you got Shadrach. Yeah, we'll get to them in their rebellion. And if you can't see what I'm doing, I got my fingers going. Rebellion. We'll see how Shadrach, Meshach, and the Ghost rebellion does not match today's rebellion. Those truckers are illegal. They need to be arrested. Oh, don't say, oh, he, he, he's against freedom. He threw, the people of the Boston Tea Party were rebels, were against the law. They should have been arrested. Mrs. Parks in the back of the seat, but who sat in the wrong spot, was wrong, is arrested. But you see, we today we take criminals and we elevate them to a situation how good they are. They are freedom fighters. I wonder how you can stand in the eyes of God. Because no Christian, no Old Testament saint of God ever had a protest like they do today. Said to you, command all people, uh -oh, nations, and languages. Did you miss the reference there? To Babel? What was Babel all about? Languages. All people. Uh, maybe if you miss it, let's go back to Genesis 11. Told you we're going we're, we're gonna to do this nice and. In the whole world. You mean people? Nations? 
of one language and one speech. So, look at verse 7. To go, let us go down, that let us, that's the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, to confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad thence for the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. They left off. What happened to the Tower of Babel? I don't know. What happened to this image of Daniel, uh, 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 Nebuchadnezzar and Daniel? I don't know. <laughs> Where did they go? Do you ever ask yourself that question? You gotta be somewhere where they got evidence, and maybe God doesn't want us to find of the Tower of Babel. And I said that this uh, Jules Upper said there's a pedestal and do higher. It could be what we're talking about, Daniel. All right, so. The newspapers go out. That at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, one, flute, two, these are horns. Do you know an image that had horns? You don't? Ezekiel 28. What is he doing? I'm turning the pages in my Bible. Ezekiel 28, verse 13. You gotta go back and get this study. You don't understand it. As we, we went in detail it's on our website under Ezekiel. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. We know this is Satan. Random. The, the verses. Every precious stone was I covering the sardis, topaz, diamond, beryl, onyx, jasper, sapphire, emerald, carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes. There's your musical instrument. Remember, he's a one-man band. Daniel. Verse 5. The sound of the cornet, that's a horn. The flute, that's a horn. Harp, that's strings. And your piano. Sackbook. Sultry. De you know, sultry. Decimer. And all kinds of music with the K. That's okay. That's just always Some King James Bibles have it without the K, that's okay. I didn't mean like that. But that's okay. That's surely okay. So, we've got the flu, the heart, the sackful, the sultry, and the deucer, and all kinds of music. Six of them. You want to see? You want to see something interesting? Look at verse seven. Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, one, the flute, two, harp, three, sackbook, four, psaltery, five, all kinds of music. Verse ten. The king made a decree that every man should hear the sound of the cornet, one, flute, two, harp. Three, sackbook, four, psaltery, five, dulcimer, six. Wait a minute. What? Something's, something's quite wrong here. Something's wrong. Verse five, cornet, one, flute, two, heart, three, sackbook, four, psaltery, 
five, dulcimer, six. We get six, six, verse seven. The cornet, one, the flute, two, the harp, three, the sack, four, the sultry, five. The dulcimer is not listed. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, where's the one I'm looking for? It's a bagpipe consisting of two pipes through a leather bag. Now, I enjoy bagpipe music. I like listening to it. One says that, uh, and it, there's all different kind of variations. Two pipes in a leather and bag. But it shows up in a list three times, but it shows up twice. Now, the verse five is the newspaper reporting, the Johnny on the spot. And then it comes up as, all right, here's the command, and it's missing. It has five instruments. And when they go to accuse the Jews of not bowing down before the we got six instruments again. What is that? I don't know. I'm just telling you. There it is. Maybe somebody else knows the answer. But for some reason, the bagpipes are not there. Or instruments like bagpipes. I listen to bagpipes. So, here's that. So the herald... Cry aloud to you is command all people, nations, and languages. Go back to Tower of Battle. That what time you hear the sound of cornet, fruit, flute, harp, sackbook, psaltery, decimer, and all kinds of music. Genesis chapter 4. First time music shows up of mankind. Not the first time music shows up with the devil. And we have verse 21, Genesis 4, 20. And his brother's name was Jubal. Jubilee? We're going to have a church jubilee. Hallelujah. And you don't know your Bible. Because Jubal comes from the family of a line of a murderer that's been cursed by God with a mark set upon him who builds the first city. And is in relation to a man the first time he's a Mormon. I mean, he, he, he's a polygamist. The first man to have two wives. But our church, we're going to have a jubilee. Was the father as such that handled the harp and organ? At strings and horns. Now, I bet you they had a jubilee. Uh, oh, go back to Genesis 4. Let me show you something. Well, you know, style, they were they, they were celebrating God. They, oh, they were? Yes. Where is that? Uh, music. So we have verse 21. His brother's name was Jubal. The father of such as handled the harp in the yard. Got it? Verse 421. Got it? It was for God. Hallelujah. Verse 26. No, verse 25. And Adam knew his wife again. How you do, Eve? How you doing, honey? <laughs> no. She bared a son and called his name Seth. For God said she has appointed me another instead of Abel. She knew Abel was killed. Who Cain slew. See? Boy, did Eve get the bad news. But we're not talking about that. 
and to Seth. Now watch this. Also there was born a son and called his name Enos. Then began man to call on the name of the Lord. That jubilee of the music and harp was not to God. No child, no grandchild of Adam and Eve called upon God unto Enos. Do you see that? When Cain was marked and put off to be a, a, a vagabond, he takes off. He, he's your first nomad. And they got the iron, they got the cattle, and they got the music, the harp, and the organ. It's not unto Enos. No one called on the Lord in the line of Cain because Cain was mad at God. When Cain killed Abel, it took all the way to Enos for someone to say, Lord, what do I do? And Lord, how do I do right? There it is, 426. That music was not for God. Maybe blues. Maybe a little, a little rap. Maybe a little blue glass. I've heard the, the, the Baptist bluegrass. I say it's blue ass. Carnal music. But there it is. He said a bad word. Oh, you can find ass in the Bible. He said it again. My Bible says donkey. And I say you're a jackass. <gasps> Bless me. All right, so back to Daniel 3. So Daniel 3, 5. We're having fun. I'm having fun. So, all right, so all kinds of music. That's an old way of spelling with a K. Like I said, if your King James has M-U-S-I-C, that's perfectly okay. You're not changing the Bible by taking the K off. Okay? I like the K. Music. Because a lot of music today makes me sick. Including the ones in the Baptist churches. All right? You fall down. That's what some Pentecostals do. You know, they fall down. You seen the videos? And worship the golden image. You mean like Aaron told you, where they had the party, they're dancing, music, and a, a fellowship. Didn't Joshua say, hey, Moses, yeah, I think I hear war down there. Moses like, no, I think I hear the sound of singing. Isn't it funny, their singing, that Moses said it was singing, sounded like a war and people being killed and, and uh, to Joshua. Can you relate that to what the kind of music it was? People are being killed. No, no, they're singing. You heard today's rap? <laughs> Worship the golden image. Isn't that what the false prophet has them to do in the tribulation period? Maybe call up the maybe call up the bank stand. That Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. You get that? And whoso, no, it's not whosoever, <laughs> whoso falleth not down and worship shall the same hour be cast into a mist of a burning, fiery furnace. You know the fire that came down from heaven? <laughs> Therefore, at that time, when you all the people hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the hat box, sat box, psaltery, no bagpipes. <laughs> That's weird. I don't know why. It's not, it's mentioned three times and two times 
and one time it's not there. All kinds of music. All the people. Is that not Babylon? Uh, Babel? Is that not the Antichrist? The nations. Is that not the Antichrist? And the languages. Is that not Babel? Nebuchadnezzar setting everybody up like the Babel. And he's setting everybody up like it's going to be the Antichrist. Everybody get together. Over the image. One was a tower. One was an image. And one will be the beast. The, the Antichrist. Genesis was, let's get to heaven without God. Daniel 3, let's worship the gold. In the, in the tribulation period, let's worship the, the Antichrist. And fire comes down from heaven. What did they want to do in Genesis? They wanted to get to heaven without God. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. <laughs> Look at the player! Did you get that? It takes fire to put them things in outer space. And now they call it dragon. Read Revelation chapter 12, Mr. Jordan. I already know you don't read your Bible. And properly decipher of context. Therefore, at that time when all people heard the sound of the coronet, the flute, the heart mark, the supper, the same instrument. That's a that's a jukebox. That's your radio. All kinds of music. All the people, the na nations, and the language fell down and worshiped the golden image. Now, I want to show you know, they tell you that the word all means all, excluding, but whatever. Don't they tell you that? That that all means all? It says all the people, right? The nations, the languages fell down. But well, see, we got a problem. You find it. Oh. Verse 12. There are certain Jews who now set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They have served not thy gods, nor worshiped the golden image which thou hast set up. They didn't fall down. How can you say all? Another place. You gotta be careful with these little sayings. Um, Daniel six. Let me find this one. Daniel six twenty four. I hate to rain on your parade, but let's get right. I've heard, I've heard over and over. All means all, and then there's, and the com king command they broke, and they brought those men which accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions, them all children, and their wives. And the lions had mastery of them, and the and break all their bones. You mean the anvil, the stirrup. And angel stir up. There's a third one in the air. I can't remember what it is. You mean those bones were broken too? I think all means general, not completely all. 
two places in Daniel, I don't see everything uh, absolute. I think the Bible uses the word every. Back to Daniel 3. And verse 7, they fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. So there it is. And there are these cylinder type obelisks, erected Venuses, at least 10 major them throughout the world and they've been throughout history. The two most notable ones is in Washington and the Vatican. And there are others. And what we see Nebuchadnezzar doing is preparing us for what will happen when the church is gone. And we are in the time of the tribulation, the time of Jacob's trouble, that he's going to die, he's going to come back to life. And the false prophet is going to say, hey, let's make an image to him. Let's have a kumbaya. Let's have a celebration. Let's give gifts. And then we point back to a time in history when a group of men got together and said, let's build a tower that we may reach to the heavens. And today, presently, let's take, let's take these ships and go up to the heavens. And they're going to the heavens to, to, to do one thing. They're trying to find proof that there's no God. If we find water on Mars, I mean, you know, that doesn't prove nothing. That means nothing. You still got plenty of men who have been in the armed services that are homeless and don't get the treatment that they're supposed to get, and yet we're spending all that money going to the moon, going to Mars, going to Uranus, and everywhere else. And you need fire. And they, they you know what they said in Genesis, let us make brick. You need fire to burn those bricks and make them right. Daniel, there's a fiery furnace for the execution. In the tribulation period, there's fire coming down from heaven. Did you miss those things? Did you not link them together? Turn off the TV, blow it up, bury it outside in a pile of cow manure, and just read and open your Bible. And I don't care what man has to say. Let the Holy Spirit speak to you. Do a much better job.